Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss on the topic human reproduction and this video is presented to you by www.examhe.com So related to this uh, topic human reproduction we have discussed about the male reproductive system and uh, we have discussed the various parts of male reproductive system in which we have uh, discussed about the testes, accessory ducts, urethra in details and now we are going to discuss the structure of a sperm which is a male gamete okay so first of all where does a sperm form so sperm form in testes which is the male reproductive organ so testes contain various compartments inside it which is called seminiferous tubules okay so this seminiferous tubules has two types of cells two types of cells the first one is a spermatogenic cell spermatogenic cell and the other one is sertoli cell okay so this is spermatogenic cell after the onset of puberty uh, undergoes differentiation and uh, uh, differentiate into spermatide and this is spermatide matures and forms the sperm and this Sertoli cell nourishes the sperm okay so this is the whole process so now we are going to discuss the structure of a sperm so the structure include head neck body and the tail so first we are going to discuss about the head so the head is oval shape as you can see in this diagram head neck body and the tail so the head is oval shape it has the nucleus in the and this nucleus has thin cytoplasm and surrounded by a cell membrane it is surrounded by a cell membrane and has a thin cytoplasm and uh, the anterior half of the head has is acrosome which is a cap like structure formed from the Golgi apparatus so this is the acrosome a cap like structure which contain the enzyme hyaluronidase so this is the proteolytic enzyme which is essential for a sperm to fertilize the ovum as the ovum contain the high concentration of hyaluronin okay so the ovum contain Yaluronin in high concentration. So this enzyme digest the yaluronin and allow the entry of the sperm into the ovum so that the fusion between the nucleus can happen for the formation of zygote. Okay. The second one is neck. The neck is short which is located between the base of the head and the first gyre of mitochondrial helix of the middle piece. So as you can see in this diagram the neck is easily distinguished because it is situated be between the base of the neck and the first gyre of mitochondrial helix. Okay, It has two centriole which is right angle to each other the proximal centriole and the distal centriole and these both are right angle to each other so the uh, distal centriole gives the attachment to the axial filament this distal centriole uh, further gives the attachment to the axial filament this gives the attachment to the axial filament which is necessary for the movement which is necessary for the movement okay and the proximal centriole has no active function is in spermatozoan it it has no uh, active function it is proximal to the nucleus that's why it is called proximal uh, centriole okay so now the next is the body the body of a sperm is cylindrical as you can see in this diagram the body is cylindrical and the central core of the body is axial filament so at the center present the axial filament which is 
necessary for the movement of the sperm and uh, axial filament contain 9 plus 2 array of microtubule which is typical cilia and flagella in flagella also you can the axial filament is like this it has 9 plus 2 array this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 plus 2 array which is which is seen in cilia and flagella so this axial filament is necessary for the uh, motility of the sperm so uh, axial filament is start from the posterior end of the neck posterior end of the neck and uh, reaches the tail, uh, tail of the axial thread and reaches the tail of the axial thread so uh, the axial filament is present from here till here okay and the body of axial filament is surrounded closely by a wound spiral filament consist of mitochondria so in this region you can see the body is uh, this is the body area of the sperm head neck body and tail so this is the body area of a sperm in which the axial filament is surrounded by the uh, spiral filament consists of mitochondria and this mitochondria is necessary uh, for uh, giving the energy to the axial filament for movement okay the next is the tail part the tail part has two segment which is the main segment and the uh, end piece so the chief or the main piece of the tail this one is the chief or the main piece and this one is terminal or the end piece okay so the chief piece has the axial filament which is covered with the cytoplasmic capsule but in the tail end piece of the tail there is the presence of only axial filament and no uh, cytoplasmic capsule uh, is present okay so now we are going to discuss the hormonal control of male reproductive system so the whole male reproductive system that we have studied is, is controlled by a hormone which is released from hypothalamus situated in the brain region as you can see in this diagram so this hypothalamus releases a hormone gonadotropin releasing hormone which stimulates the anterior pituitary gland and this anterior pituitary gland releases two hormone follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone and this follicle stimulating hormone stimulate the sertoli cell which is present in seminiferous tubules of testes and this sertoli cells facilitate spermatogenesis that is the differentiation of a spermatogonium into a spermatide and the luteinizing hormone stimulate the leydig cell to release the testosterone and testosterone with the follicle stimulating hormone produces the sperm okay as the these both are essential for the production of sperm so when the concentration of testosterone is high then the testosterone act as a negative feedback control and also the sertoli cell releases the protein uh, inhibin which suppresses the synthesis of follicle stimulating hormone by suppressing the anterior action of anterior pituitary gland okay and uh, the testosterone also suppresses the action of hypothalamus and uh, also uh, the suppresses the action of luteinizing hormone when the concentration of testosterone is high so in this condition the testosterone act as a negative feedback control and likewise the whole uh, hormonal control uh, take place okay so now we are going to discuss disorder of male reproductive system so first is prostatomegaly so it is the inflammation of prostate gland when the gland swells up and frequently block the urethra and make the urination painful so as you can see in this diagram this is the prostate gland which is present in the male reproductive system which uh, swells up and block the urethra this is the urethra and it block the urethra and make the urination painful if uh, if it is untreated then 
uh, it can leads to kidney damage and it occur mostly at an age of 60 the second one is prostate cancer the cancer of prostate gland is extremely common accounting in 2 to 3 percent of male death Cancer in the prostate uh, cell are usually stimulated by testosterone. So the treatment is the removal of the testes which produces the testosterone. So the this is the prostate gland in which the cancer occur and this is due to the high production of testosterone. So the treatment is to remove the testes so that the testosterone production can be stopped. The next is importance, the inability to complete the penis erection at the time of intercourse. And the last one is sterility. In male sterility is the inability to produce the sperm so that it can fertilize an ovum. The reason is the less number of production of sperm which is uh, mostly less than less than 20 million per ml of semen okay thank you for watching this video subscribe exam hai on youtube like our videos and comment